primary series of Greg Venuto. All right. Okay, guys. Today we're going to start off with fingers. And I don't usually spend too much time with this, nor do I think you should. The only thing I can tell you, most important thing is, by keeping the fingers loosely around the stick throughout your practicing and playing, whatever you do, I promise you, the fingers will come to be beneficial into your playing. But one thing at first you can do is, number one, keep the fingers loosely around the stick no matter what you do. And you can, you can fool around with stuff like this. See that? Even the pinky is involved. Left hand. And you notice all my fingers are involved. Now, a lot of people spend a lot of time with this to where if they do a single stroke roll, they'll use fingers to do that. Now, I, I don't play like that, and, and, uh, and I, I, don't, uh, I don't play like that. I don't play uh, single stroke solos with just fingers. My belief is if you keep the fingers around the stick at all times, fingers around the stick loosely, that they almost act like a pillow, like a cushion. So even, even in a simple stroke like this, it's almost like, a, it's like the stick is, is bouncing off that pillow. So that's why I say if you incorporate the fingers around the stick, eventually the technique will come. If you're going like this, or not incorporating the fingers, like try to play great technique with this, or just with your fulcrum. Just try it. Yeah, okay. It, it, it. With the fingers wrapped around the stick, it's a whole different picture. So that's why I'm an advocate of keeping the fingers loosely around the stick. But if you want, you know, you could... I'm trying to go as slow as I can. Just get into keeping a, fro a fulcrum and playing the fingers. And, m very important, the pinky. Keep that pinky in there. Keep the forefinger in there. Keep the middle finger in there. Because on things like this, I'm telling you, fingers are involved. And when you start doing things like this, the fingers are in there. And that's because we've been practicing keeping the fingers around the stick. And uh, uh, it will come. The technique will come. If you're going like this and you get into all these bad habits with fingers sticking out, to me it's not going to work. And uh, so that's one thing. Another thing, like I said last week what I was going to do, bouncing. Very important. Now back, bouncing, the best exercise I can give you for that is just a simple uh Triplet. See how simple? One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. And of course, we're relaxing our wrist. We're not playing stiff. And what happens? have this, you relax, and as you get faster, you start bouncing, and again, the fingers are involved, right there, without me spending hours with doing finger exercises, or stopping a solo into doing a finger thing. My technique is not like that, my method, it doesn't, the fingers have been involved, and they almost act like a cushion, like I said, like a rubber band. So just a simple thing, you know. One, two, three. Just relax. Start out even slower. Two, three, four. Just relax. Two, three, four. One, two. The 
for you traditional guys, same thing. Those are for the haters who think I can't play traditional. So anyway, just kidding. So that's simple. And you know, we maybe we play with a metronome, set the tempo higher. And as you get faster, play the double lower. It's physics. It's science. That's bouncing. That's bouncing. But of course, I'm incorporating the wrist, the fingers, and I practiced a lot. Well, it's almost like a speed bag. I've mentioned this in the emotional triplet vid video on Metro Tech. Another playlist that I have. This is a great exercise. Again, as you get faster, the double gets lower. So, some people say, you know, Greg, it's hard. I can't get the bouncing. I've had some students, I can't get the bouncing going. Well, that's because, you know, it, you have to practice. You know, it, nobody said drums or any playing the drums great is easy it's not easy you know the, the isolating the wrist and what I've, I've met by that in the last two videos is I'm learning how to really turn my hands my wrist it took me maybe a good year and a half and I remember I was out in the backyard one day and I was like 13 years old and it, and it came to me I go oh I finally know knew what my teacher was talking about so it's practice but that just by a, that simple thing, you're gonna you're gonna bounce. You're gonna bounce because there's if you get to a certain tempo, you have to. You have to start bouncing. So stay there. And if you don't, you can't go there, just so stay here. But if you're relaxing and you know how to turn your wrist, you're not doing anything weird. It's it, it's and you can do so many things. You know, like. So, Great exercise. I, mean, I, I said, like I said, I was going to say before, it's like a speed bag, like a boxer. We spent an hour playing the playing to tracks. So that's a great exercise for bouncing, and then. Uh, Maybe next week we'll get into the double stroke roll. And one other thing I want to talk about today is forearms. Somebody mentioned to me about, talk about dynamics. And uh, if I go by dynamics and power, especially for rock and roll and hip hop or anything, it's coming from the forearms. That's how we play drums. It's like our feet, we have our, we have, we have our legs and our feet are like, like heads of, of a, of, a, of an animal or something. In other words, we have the toes, like teeth, and and uh, it sounds kind of weird, but we have the uh, we have the, the the ankle, which gives us power, you know, and 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 the action, the action, uh, the ankle, and it's the same thing with the. Uh, it's more of a balance and stability with with the legs and the feet, but the arms. We have forearms and and the upper arm to get around the drum set. That's how we get around. And the 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 head of of again, think of it like an animal is the, the hand. We have the action. We have the mouth. We have the we have the the fingers acting like like the teeth and it it's an interesting concept. It's like but it it's action. It 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 it, it moves. So I'm moving around simple thing like his forearms. So let me give you a demonstration about forearms, wrist. Forearms. Forearms. Wrist. Wrist. Forearms. 
So that's a little thing, you know, for dynamics. Rest. Forearms. So it's interesting, right? A lot of stuff there, a lot of stuff to work on. So, uh, Greg Nudo saying goodbye. You YouTubers, I'll see you next week. All right!